Hey guys and gals, Eric here with Harris Aerobic in Granbury, Texas. Here we are at another alarm on a frigid morning after extreme cold has moved into North Texas. I've dealt with several air related alarms, but I wanted to share with you the other problem that is prevalent when extreme cold comes in and that's frozen sprinkler heads. And now the disclaimer, this video is intended as instruction and guidance for licensed aerobic septic maintenance technicians only. Any manipulation of electrical breakers or associated wiring should be handled by a licensed electrician or licensed aerobic septic maintenance technician and is not intended for homeowners, renters, or any occupants with access to the system due to the risk of electrical shock and possible death. So this customer was on their way out of town for Christmas so nobody was home so first things first, silence the alarm and check the breakers. I could hear the compressor running but I pulled the airline just in case and it appeared to be sending plenty of air. At this point I slid the lid off the pump tank and as you can see, high water. I didn't video at this point but I could hear the pump running and since it was 20 degrees at the time I assumed that the sprinklers were frozen up. At this point I turned off all breakers and went to check out the sprinklers. As you can see, both of these sprinklers are sticking up slightly from the ground. Grab the housing of the sprinkler and unscrew it from the discharge line. With both sprinklers disconnected, it's back to the tailgate of my truck to unscrew the sprinkler cap and pull the mechanism from the housing. This is the sprinkler screen from one of the sprinklers. Simply use a pair of needle nose pliers to pull the screen out. As you can see, this screen is not only full of debris, but it's solid ice. The other sprinkler has a slightly different screen, but pulls out the same. This sprinkler, being the last of the two on the discharge line, had a slightly cleaner screen, but looking into the sprinkler where the screen sits, there's a coating of ice blocking the sprinkler. I placed the sprinklers in a bucket under my dash with the heater on high for a few minutes before cleaning the screens with bleach and a brush. Install the screens back into the sprinklers. Secure the sprinklers back into the housings and then screw down the sprinklers back onto the discharge line and make your directional spray adjustments. Turn the breakers back onto the system and watch the magic happen and as always, secure the panel and place the alarm back in run mode or instruct the homeowner to do so once the alarm light goes out. On to the next system. Give us a holler if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe and find us at harrisaerobic.com on Facebook and Instagram.